welcome back good morning students of class 4 this is your english text class today we would be continuing with the story alice in wonderland it started uh, we already we started in the last class we already completed the story but i think two lines are left the last two lines are left the last uh, in the story we saw Alice, a little girl, one day he was, she was in the garden and then she saw a rabbit who scampered by and uh, it, uh, it wore a jacket and it had a um, watch and uh, it, was, uh, it was in hurry. So Alice uh, followed the rabbit and then she reached in a hole, rabbit's hole. There she saw a lovely garden, golden key, lots of um, strange things she saw. And the most uh, interesting thing, the rabbit could speak. Okay, the rabbit could talk. So, the last two lines uh, are left. Oh, how I wish I could become smaller, she exclaimed loudly. She was wishing if she could become smaller. Why? Because that doorway was so small that she couldn't enter through it. That's why she was wishing if she could become smaller. So this is the whole story and it is written by it is written by Lewis Carroll. Today, students, we will uh, do the question answer part. So, get ready with your copy. Alice in Wonderland, we will start the question answer part. First question. While listening to the story, what did Alice see? While listening to the story, what did Alice see? Alice saw a white rabbit. Write the answer, please. Alice saw a white rabbit while she was listening. To the story. While listening to the story, what did Alice see? Alice saw a white rabbit while she was listening to the story. Next question. What was different about the rabbit that Alice saw? Write the answer. Alice saw that the rabbit had pink eyes and was wearing a blue coat. It was also wearing a waistcoat and carried a watch. He could also talk like humans. I am repeating. Alice saw that the rabbit had pink eyes and was wearing a blue coat and it was also wearing a vest coat and carried a watch. He could also talk like human beings. Okay. Now question number three. Where did the rabbit go? The rabbit. Where did the rabbit go? The rabbit went down and down into his hole. Where did the rabbit go? The rabbit went down and down in the hole. How did Alice reach Wonderland? How did Alice reach Wonderland? Ab Alice reached Wonderland by following the white rabbit alice reached the uh, alice reached wonderland by following the white rabbit next number five what strange things did alice see what strange things did alice see alice saw a lovely garden with bright flowers alice saw a lovely garden with bright flowers and cool fountains okay so what strange things did alice saw? alice see alice saw a lovely garden with bright flowers and cool fountains next number six describe in your words that garden the and that alice saw the garden that alice saw was the beautiful garden was the beautiful garden she had ever seen. The garden that Alice saw was the most beautiful garden she had ever she had ever seen. It had beds of bright flowers and cool 
found tense. Okay. Now come to question number seven. Draw the garden of your dreams. Here a box is given. You can draw. This is your fun work. Okay. Now come to number eight. Take the correct answer. First one. The rabbit had white or big or pink eyes. The answer is big. Put a tick mark on big. Next. Who was burning with curiosity? Alice. The rabbit or children. Put a tick mark on Alice. Next. Who fell down and down? Alice. Mouse or the rabbit? Alice. Put a tick mark. Alice. Next. Who said? Oh my ears and whiskers. How late it's getting? The rabbit, Alice or Alice's sister? Answer is the rabbit. Put a tick mark. Next. The garden Alice saw was big, lovely or small? The answer is lovely. Okay. So, learn all these question answers. Okay. We will meet in the next class. Thank you very much.